Hello everyone, this is a video lesson of the short story E is for E-Waste written by Ellen Banda Aku. This is Ellen Banda Aku. She is an African writer. She is uh, from uh, Zambia. Uh, this particular short story was written for children. This is a story about a young boy named Zaku who is asked to write an uh, assignment by his teacher. So let's uh, look at the story. Zaku, even you can write an assignment about ways to save the planet. So look at how uh, his teacher, you know, uh, told him. Zaku, even you, okay, ninnakku polum eđudhaan pattu. So that uh, hurt his ego. Ninnakku polum ennu varayam pol, nyan enda manda nano ennu ulloiru chinda nama kuulil undavu. So this is written from uh, Zaku's perspective and this is what uh, his teacher told him. You, you, even you can write an assignment about ways to save the planet. That's what Mr. North, our class teacher, said to me as he handed out the homework assignment to the class. So the teacher's name is Mr. North. And uh, Saku uh, says to himself, imagine that. He said, Saku, even you. Okay, that was a big insult for him. But uh, Mr. North uh, did not mean to insult. Uh, we will, I know he will talk about it in a moment. He said, Saku, even you, which suggested that even a dimwit like me can write an assignment on ways to save our planet. Even a dimwit. Mm, Atra buddhi illata, atra, you know, practical wisdom illata, any kibolu, other eridan but to any ridiku paranyo anu. And that is what, you know, hurt his ego. Now the whole class knows Mr. North and his smart mouth. So everyone knows, you know, how Mr. North talks. He is very smart. You know, he says all these things to um, provoke them. അങ്ങനെ ഈഗോ ഹേർട്ട് ചെയ്ത് അവരെ കൊണ്ടോരോന്ന് ചെയ്യിപ്പിച്ചെടുക്കുക എന്നുള്ളത് ഇദ്ദേഹത്തിൻ്റെ ഒരു സ്റ്റൈലായിരുന്നു സോ എവറി വൺ ന്യൂ അബൌട്ട് ദിസ് വി നോ ഹി സെസ് തിങ്സ് ടു പ്രൊവോക്ക് അസ് ടു പ്രൂവ് ഹിം റോങ് ഓക്കെ മണ്ടനാണെന്നുള്ള രീതിക്ക് സംസാരിച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അത് അങ്ങനെ അല്ല എന്ന് പ്രൂവ് ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് നമ്മളുടെ ഒരു ഓണസാണ് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഓൺ അസ് ടു പ്രൂവ് ഹിം റോങ് സോ ഐ റിയലി ഷുഡൻറ്റ് ഹാവ് മൈൻഡ് വാട്ട് ഹി സെറ്റ് So, I know all this, that Mr. Nod uh, no, deliberately uh, used those words. Okay? So, I shouldn't have actually minded. Paksha, this time I uh, did mind. Uh, why? Because you know, there was someone special in the class uh, who heard this. You see, Mr. Nod said it in front of Tasha. So, Zaku has obviously... Uh, has a crush on his classmate Tasha. Tasha is a new student uh, to his class. Uh, she is a new girl in my class with dimpled cheeks. Dimpled cheeks and all that. And uh, and uh, bushy eyebrows. It here it is given uh, busy. I believe it is a spelling mistake. Bushy eyebrows is uh, the usual uh, you know. Uh, a term which is used with eyebrows. Bushy means thick eyebrows. Ever since she walked into our classroom and Mr. North introduced her to us, Tasha's face has stuck in my mind. So he's um, in a fond of uh, you know, Tasha. Saku is very fond of Tasha. Her face has stuck in my head like the pink bubblegum stick in the pocket of my school trousers. So he's comparing how her face stuck to his mind. Like, you know, uh, he's comparing it to how a bubblegum sticks to, you know, or a bubblegum uh, got stuck on his, you know, uh, school trousers. Twice I've tried to speak to Tasha, but both times my words got lost somewhere between my head and my mouth. So I ended up gaping at her like a fish. So twice uh, he tried to speak to her, but he got nervous and he couldn't say anything to her. And uh, what happened, he ended up uh, looking at her without saying anything with an open mouth. Uh, he just stared at her. And when I gaped at her, she looked at me as if I was indeed a dimwit. 
സോ ഞാനൊരു മണ്ടനാണെന്ന് അവൾ അപ്പം തന്നെ വിചാരിച്ച് കാണും സോ ഐ ഹാവ് ടു പ്രൂവ് ഹർ റോങ് ഐ ഹാവ് ടു പ്രൂവ് മൈ ടീച്ചർ റോങ് ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് പ്രൂവ് ടാഷ റോങ് സൊ ദാറ്റ്സ് വൈ ഐ വാസ് ഡിറ്റേമിൻ ടു റൈറ്റ് ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് അസൈൻമെൻറ്റ് ഇൻ മൈ ക്ലാസ് ഐ ഹാഡ് ടു ഷോ ടാഷ ഹൗ ക്ലവർ ഐ റിയലി വാസ് സോ ഹി വോണ്ട്സ് ടു റൈറ്റ് ദിസ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ അസൈൻമെൻറ്റ് ഫോർ ടാഷ So when I got home from school I sat in the shade of an avocado tree that stands right next to our house an avocado tree avocado fruit uh, I don't know whether you have seen it this is an avocado fruit okay this is uh, an avocado so there is an avocado tree uh, right next to his house it stands so close to our house that sometimes I can pick an avocado pear by stretching my arm out through the dining room window mm. so he considers it very cool you know imagine uh, being able to pluck a fruit without going outside of his house mm. from his dining room itself he can you know stretch his hands outside the window and pluck uh, the fruit uh, so that he considers that very cool mm. uh, imagine that cool isn't it being able to pick a fruit from a tree while standing inside the house so he's asking the readers isn't it cool ma doesn't think it is cool so his mother doesn't think it is very cool because it is very close to his house and it it may destroy the house she says the tree is too close to the house and one day its big roots will lift our house out of the ground so that's a possibility for if a tree is very big and if it has very strong roots it can actually harm the foundations of a house if it is too close to the house either that or the tree will fall and smash our house flat to the ground so uh, otherwise even if the roots doesn't harm the house there's a good chance that uh, during a storm or something uh, the uh, tree may fall on the house and partly destroy it dad says mom worries too much he says it's such a harmless tree so his dad is very uh, positive about the tree standing close to the uh, house he says that it is a very harmless tree he says that uh, his mom uh, you know worries too much i know ma and dad are both right so saku believes that both of them are right mom worries too much and dad says the avocado tree is harmless because he doesn't want the hassle of having to cut the tree down which is what mom has been trying to get him to do for years now so he um, he says that both of them are right yes mom worries too much uh, and dad is saying that it is a harmless tree because uh, he's lazy to cut it down and he doesn't want to go through the hassle hmm? Uh, go through the inconvenience of cutting down it is a big job you no know, cutting down a big tree is a is a heavy job so he doesn't want to do that I mean, he's lazy to do that that's why he's saying uh, the tree is harmless uh, and his mother has been trying uh, to you know has been telling uh, his dad to cut the tree down for years now anyway i got from from uh, school and sat under the tree with my book open on my lap and started thinking about the various ways to save our planet so he is writing his assignment uh, you know he's sitting under the tree and trying to think about ideas to write the assignment mr north said we could be as creative as possible in our essays so uh, he, he wants new ideas he wants creative ideas i started by writing a title ways to save our planet earth so like everyone uh, we all start with a title and after uh, getting a title uh, we are always stuck mm? we ideas don't seem to come after the title i got a bit stuck i know a lot about recycling and reusing to save the planet's natural resources but i struggled to put my thoughts into words so he has many ideas but uh, he found it difficult to uh you know write them down put his thoughts into words so what were his ideas for example i know that the water we use to wash food can be recycled by using it to water plants so uh, the water which we use to wash uh you know fruit uh, vegetables and all it can be uh, collected and used to water plants in the garden 
that's a very um, uh, good way of you know uh, recycling stuff or the water we use to rinse clothes can be used to wash a car so the water we use to you know or wash clothes can be used to wash a car we can also save water by fixing leaking pipes and we can save energy by switching off lights when not in use taking our old shopping bag to gr to uh, grocery store instead of using new plastic bags also helps save the environment because plastic bags do not decompose naturally so the less we use the better yes we studied about this the other day when uh, we talked about you know uh, plastic pollution and uh, if you already have a plastic bag at home it is best to take that bag when you go uh, to buy grocery uh, from on the local shop instead of uh, buying a new plastic bag every time you go there and i know for certain that chopping down the avocado tree is not good for the planet because trees make the oxygen that we breathe so that is also not a very good idea uh, you know cutting down trees you see i do know a lot about saving the planet he knows a lot as i pondered over you know pondering means thinking deeply as i pondered over how to write down the information in a way that made sense uh, and uh, it, he wanted it to be imaginative and at the same time uh, when he uh, you know reads it out it should uh, make him seem very clever others should say that he is a very clever boy so aa oru reethikku engane idu ezhudu ennadine kuriche he was uh, you know thinking deeply uh, and uh, while he was thinking something happened suddenly the garage door rumbled off the gro ground and ma appeared from behind it so a uh, garage is a uh, is a, is a, a place where you park your car any vehicle for that matter nammude veedukalil ella open car sheds aanullu and um, in other places in foreign countries they have a closed room it is completely closed and um, either they have automatic you know uh, shutters അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നമ്മളുടെ ഇവിടുത്തെ കടമുറികളിലുള്ള പോലെ റോളിംഗ് ഷട്ടേഴ്സ് അങ്ങനെയൊക്കെ ആയിരിക്കും സോ ദിസ് സീം ടു ബി എ റോളിംഗ് ഷട്ട് സോ ഹി സെസ് ദാറ്റ് ദ ഗറാജ് ഡോർ റംബിൾഡ് ഓഫ് ദ ഗ്രൗണ്ട് സോ യു നോ ഹൗ വാട്ട് ദ സൗണ്ട് നോ ഇറ്റ് മേക്സ് റോളിംഗ് ഷട്ട് മേക്സ് നോ ഇറ്റ് റംബിൾഡ് ഓഫ് ദ ഗ്രൗണ്ട് ആൻഡ് മാ അപ്പിയർ ഫ്രം ബിഹൈൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് സാക്കു വിച്ച് വൺ ഓഫ് ദീസ് ബോക്സസ് ഹാസ് മൈ ഡോക്യുമെൻറ്റ്സ് സോ അപ്പാരൻ്റ്ലി ഈ ഗറാജിൽ കൂടുതൽ ആൾക്കാരും കാറ് പാർക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്നില്ല എങ്കിൽ അതൊരു സ്റ്റോറേജ് സ്പേസ് ആയിട്ട് പഴയ സാധനങ്ങളൊക്കെ കൊണ്ട് തള്ളാനുള്ള ഒരു സ്ഥലമായിട്ട് ഉപയോഗിക്കാറുണ്ട് സോ മാ ഇസ് സ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് ദർ വിത്ത് നോ ആസ്കിങ് ഹിം വിച്ച് വൺ ഓഫ് ദീസ് ബോക്സസ് ഹാസ് മൈ ഡോക്യുമെൻറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഹീ ഷി ഈസ് ആംഗ്രി വിത്ത് ഹർ ഹാൻഡ്സ് ഓൺ ഹർ ഹിപ്സ് വിച്ച് ഷോസ് ദറ്റ് ഷീ ഈസ് എ ബിറ്റ് നോ ആംഗ്രി അനോയിഡ് Ma frowned at the boxes stacked high on one side of the garage. So there are lots of boxes stacked one on top of the other. Now the garage is not really a garage because dad has never parked his car there. Now the garage is not really a garage because dad has never parked his car inside it. So it is used as a storage space. If he did, the car would probably get lost like Ma's document and all the other things we store in the garage and can never find. so he says that if at all his father parks his car inside the garage that too will get lost because adinte athu vekkuna oru sadhana orikkil oru sadhana adinte athu kondu vechu kenna pinna thirichu kittare illa so that is how much uh, you know stacked this uh, particular garage is it is full of stuff now that was my first mistake what i should have done at that moment was to keep my head bowed over my book and ma would have left me alone to do my homework okay so he says that i should have continued doing my homework but i did not do that i made a mistake i walked up to the garage and tried to uh, you know uh, find her documents but i didn't okay i did not uh, uh, you know i did not keep doing uh, my homework i walked across uh, i got up and joined ma in the garage 
Across from the boxes on the other side of the garage stood our old fridge. Beside it sat our even older freezer. Uh, on top of the freezer sat Dad's old computer. So there are lots of electronic stuff in the garage. Uh, my first tricycle, still bright blue, but only with two wheels left, lay on a pile of old bicycles uh, next to the la land mower with a faulty motor. So I believe it is not a land mower. I believe it is a lawn mower. A lawn mower is something which is used to uh, cut grass. It's a machine which is used to cut grass, lawn, garden, like a pull uh, shape and we can uh, machine and lawn mower okay I believe this might be a spelling mistake so all these things were inside okay all these electronic uh, items except for the tricycle never mind I'll ask your father so uh, she says that she'll ask your father you know, her, his father where this uh, particular um, you know documents are Ma did not wait for me to answer her question. She stormed past me to find Dad, which was just as well as I had no idea where her documents were. So she just, you know, stormed past uh, him. Storm past means she's angry. And so she just, you know, rushed past uh, Zaku to find uh, his dad and to ask him where the documents are. So it was 5.30, so dad was sitting in front of the TV in his vest and blue and white striped uh, pajama trousers as he does every day when he comes home from work. So his uh, dad was sitting in front of the TV wearing only a vest, innerwear. Innerwear, namal bani innerwear, sadhana, vest and blue and striped white uh, pajama trousers so he's wearing a pajama trousers as well mm, and uh, this is what he usually does every day after he comes from work he sits in front of the tv and watches the news i told you to label the boxes before you stored them but you said you didn't need to ma said leading dad to the garage so ma is scolding uh, no um, his dad uh, she had asked his dad to label the boxes. Or a box in the counter and label it. His father did not do it. So that is why his mother is scolding. So come and show me which box has my documents. Everything is somewhere in here. That's what his dad said. Dad scratched his head, a sign he was irritated. So because he was irritated. Zaku, where is your mother's box? He asked me as if I would know. Uh, he asked me as if I would know. Leave the boy to do his homework. Ma snapped, pointing back to the chair where I had ab abandoned my book and pen. So he was uh, obviously doing his you know, homework. So his uh, mother asked his father to leave him alone um, to do his homework. At that moment, I realized from my ma's tone that doing my homework outside was a big mistake. I sat back down and tried to look busy. Uh, so uh, he, uh, he understood from what his mother said that he, she did not like him doing uh, his work outside the house. And anyway, he went back and sat down and uh, started working, tried to look busy. I keep asking you to throw all this away, Ma said, poking at Dad's old computer with a broomstick she had picked off the floor. Broomstick, I'm going to tell you. Otherwise, I'm going to tell you about the computer. I'm going to tell you about This place is full of rubbish. I keep telling you we can't just throw this electric stuff onto a rubbish heap. These are electric and electronic stuff, <clears throat> Dad growled. He kept looking at his watch as he spoke, as if to check how much of the news he was missing. So he was worried that he's missing his news. Some of this equipment gives off toxins that pollute the air. So we cannot just you know um, throw it uh, uh, like any other waste because 
these electronic stuff are made of things which give off toxins and these toxins pollute the air pollute the air you could drive a car that gives off black smoke mas said oh pollution e kurich parayna oru aal you drive a car which gives off black smoke oh bhayankara kaaryamayittu poga emit cheyina oru car aanu ningal odikkunnathu എന്നിട്ടാണ് നിങ്ങൾ പൊല്യൂഷൻ്റെ കാര്യം പറയുന്നത് ഷി ഹസ് ബീൻ ട്രൈങ് ടു കൺവിൻസ് ഡാഡ് ടു ഗെറ്റ് റിഡ് ഓഫ് ഹിസ് കാർ ഫോർ ഇയേഴ്സ് ബിക്കോസ് ദ കാർ ഇസ് യു നോ വെരി ഓൾഡ് സോ ഹിസ് മദർ ഓൾവേസ് വോണ്ടഡ് ഹിസ് ഫാദർ ടു ചേഞ്ച് ദ കാർ ബട്ട് ബട്ട് ഹിസ് ഡാഡ് നെവർ ഡിഡ് ഇറ്റ് മാ ഗേവ് മീ എൻ ഐഡിയ ഫോർ മൈ ഹോം വർക്ക് ഐ ക്വിക്ലി ഇസ് ട്രിബിൾഡ് റിഡ്യൂസ് പൊല്യൂഷൻ ടു സേവ് ദ പ്ലാനറ്റ് ഓൺ ദ കവർ ഓഫ് മൈ ബുക്ക് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് വാട്ട് ഹി wrote down rough it on the cover of his book he started writing down some points so that uh, i would write the essay neatly in my book later allan kaynittu neat aayittu savadhana ezhudavallo this is not waste that goes into the waste usual waste bin that is what his father said this is e waste and needs to be disposed of at an e waste processing or recycling plant so there are specific plants or there are specific places where you can get rid of e waste avada mathrame namak idu kondu dispose cheyan pattullo we cannot throw it uh, along with other waste i think he was going to say more but ma didn't give him a chance e waste or whatever you call it i want it out of the garage she yelled so his dad wanted to say more about how to dispose e waste and how dangerous e waste is uh, but uh, his mother was very impatient uh, he did, she did not let him finish and she said i want all these thing out of the these things are out of the garage he was very angry e waste another interesting point if only ma wouldn't interrupt dad i thought how clever i would look if i wrote about e waste in my assignment so they the students have not been taught about uh, e waste as yet so uh, what uh, what he is thinking is he want he will write about e waste something which is not yet taught so that uh, he can uh, look very clever in front of the whole class pakshe what enda nadakkunnathu amma vannittu achane parayan sammadikkunnilla amma oru parayan sammadichirundengil ezhudan kore point kittiyadene so that is not happening here i scribbled um sorry i thought of how clever i would look if i wrote about e waste in my assignment while dad's words were, were still fresh in my mind i scribbled e waste is waste made up of equipment such as fridges computers and bicycles i wasn't sure about bicycles so i crossed it out so bicycles are e waste alla karena bicycle oru electronic sadhanam alla idu oru mechanical sadhanam aanu so that is uh, that does not form e waste and quickly wrote e waste should be disposed of in an e waste processing or recycling system to stop it from polluting the air meanwhile as i was scribbling all over the cover of my work the argument between ma and dad was heating up okay so they were still continuing to uh, argue shaking his head dad said you wouldn't understand e waste ninnu odu parane idu kaaryam illa don't start to your fancy terms you have la- you should have labeled the boxes simple ma interrupted dad again ningalde fancy terms e waste annu parane bayangara scientific aayittulla words onnu kondu ennod varanda ningal boxes mark cheyidilla label cheyidilla athre ullu athre simple aayittulla oru kaaryam ningal cheyidilla i agreed with ma dad has a way of complicating everything uh, ma says it's because he reads too many books so dad is you know uh, complicates everything that's why i didn't tell him about my assignment or ask him more about e waste so neerittu poi choikkanulla madi adan because he will complicate everything i knew he'll bombard me with big words hmm? uh, bomb varshikunnathu pole velli 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 vaakkal enikku manasilavatha vaakkal vechu ഞാനൊരു കുട്ടിയാണെന്ന് പോലും കരുതാതെ വലിയ വലിയ വാക്കുകൾ ഉപയോഗിച്ച് എന്നോട് എൻ്റെ അടുത്ത് ലെക്ചർ ചെയ്യാൻ തുടങ്ങും സോ ഹീ ഡിസ് ഹീ ഡസൻ വോണ്ട് ദാറ്റ് ടു ഹാപ്പൻ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് വൈ ഹി ഡിഡ് നോട്ട് ഗോ ടു ഹിസ് ഫാദർ ആസ്കിങ് ഫോർ ഹെൽപ്പ് ടു റൈറ്റ് അബൌട്ട് ഈ വേ
I know he'll bombard me with, me with big words and give me the whole history of saving the environment. And I didn't need the whole encyclopedia. So he will say everything there is about e-waste. So he did not want too much information. I just needed enough to impress Tasha and prove Mr. North wrong. So any other Mali. So I crossed my fingers that dad wouldn't give up on the argument so that I could learn more about e-waste. So he was hoping that his father would continue arguing so that he could write more about uh, e-waste. But before he could say any more, pandemonium broke out. Pandemonium means uh, confusion, panic and, you know, and everything. Uh, there was a sudden confusion um, and panic. Something happened. What did he say? Ma screamed, uh, E, and uh, his dad also screamed even louder, Ah, uh, and he himself, Zaku himself screamed. I screamed the loudest and jumped out onto my chair. Okay, so he just, he jumped onto his chair. Um, he was sitting on the chair, now he was standing on the chair. What happened? A big black rat was darting back and forth between Ma and Dad's feet. So there was a rat between, running around uh, between them. As I landed on the chair, my feet plowed through the canvas seat and I toppled over into the muddy edge. So it, it was, the chair was made of cloth. Okay. Uh, and he fell down hmm, along with the chair onto the mud um, um, and his legs got caught in the chair hmm. so I kicked it free and jumped up just as the rat disappeared up dad's pajama trousers so his, uh, his um, leg was trapped inside the uh, chair and uh, he somehow he stood up and he saw the uh, no the the rat running up his uh, dad's pajama pajama pants in dagattu garpoi and he just gripped the rat uh, above his knee and stamped his feet like a crazy gum shoot gum boot dancer okay so pant dagattu gari poyappo you know muttinde avade ettiyapprathekum he caught the rat pidichu ennittu kaal ingane thaale ingane adichondirunnu ഇത് താഴെ വിഴാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് ലൈക്ക് എ ഗംബൂട്ട് ഡാൻസ് ഗംബൂട്ട് ഡാൻസിങ് ഇസ് എ ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഡാൻസ് വിച്ച് വാസ് യു നോ സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് ബൈ മൈനേഴ്സ് മൈൻ ഖനിയിൽ വർക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്ന ആൾക്കാർ ഗംബൂട്ട് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ബൂട്ട് തന്നെ ഇസ് ബൂട്ട് വിച്ച് ഇസ് യൂസ് ബൈ മൈനിങ് പീപ്പിൾ നമ്മളിവിടെ റോഡൊക്കെ ടാർ ചെയ്യാൻ വരുന്ന ആൾക്കാരൊക്കെ യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്ന കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ടായിരിക്കും ലോങ് ബിഗ് ബൂട്ട്സ് So, Gumboot dance in the end, it is very popular in South Africa. South Africa is uh, very close to Zambia and uh, it's a, it's a you know, indigenous dance form. And I can show you Gumboot dancing. You can see it here. See, they are all wearing boots. And uh, the dance is... ബൂട്ട് തറയിൽ തട്ടുമ്പോൾ അതിൽ നിന്ന് കിട്ടുന്ന താളവും ശബ്ദവുമാണ് ആ ഡാൻസിൻ്റെ മെയിൻ അട്രാക്ഷൻ സോ ഹി വാസ് ഹിസ് ഫാദർ വാസ് സ്റ്റാമ്പിങ് ഹിസ് ബൂട്ട് ഓൺ ദ ഗ്രൗണ്ട് ലൈക്ക് എ ഗംബൂട്ട് ഡാൻസർ മാ ജംഡ് അപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ഡൗൺ ഡിസൈഡ് ഡാഡ് ഷൗട്ടിങ് ഇറ്റ്സ് എ റാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ്സ് എ റാറ്റ് I know what it is, Dad shouted back and right at that moment he whipped his trousers down to his ankles and hopped out of them. So, he was in the middle of his pants and trousers and he was in the middle of his pants and trousers. He must have squeezed the rat real hard because it landed with a thud and zigzagged away from uh, beneath the pajama trousers. So, he was squeezed the rat and squeezed the rat and squeezed the rat. ഈ റാറ്റിനെ ബിക്കോസ് ദ റാറ്റ് ഫെൽ ഡൗൺ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഒരു ഒരു എന്തോ പരിക്ക് പറ്റിയതുപോലെ ഇങ്ങനെ സിഗ് സാക്ക് ആയിട്ട് പോയി ഐ ടോർ ആഫ്റ്റർ ഇറ്റ് ടോർ ആഫ്റ്റർ ഇറ്റ് മീൻസ് ഐ റാൻ ആഫ്റ്റർ ഇറ്റ് ഐ വെൻ ആഫ്റ്റർ ഇറ്റ് ക്വിക്ക്ലി ആൻഡ് വാക്ഡ് ഇറ്റ് വിത്ത് മൈ ബുക്ക് വാക്ഡ് ഇറ്റ് വിത്ത് മൈ ബുക്ക് മീൻസ് ഐ ട്രൈഡ് നോ ഹിറ്റിംഗ് ഇറ്റ് വിത്ത് മൈ ബുക്ക് അറ്റ്ലീസ്റ്റ് ഐ ട്രൈ ടു വാക്ക് ദ റാറ്റ് ബട്ട് ഐ കെപ്റ്റ
മാ ഓൾസോ ട്രൈ ടു ഗെറ്റ് അറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് വിത്ത് ദ ബ്രൂം സ്റ്റിക്ക് ആ ചൂല് വെച്ച് അടിക്കാൻ നോക്കി പക്ഷെ നടന്നില്ല വി ഗോട്ട് ഇൻ ടു വൺ അനാദേഴ്സ് വേ ആൻഡ് ദ റാറ്റ്സ് കറീഡ് അണ്ടർ ദ ഹെഡ്ജ് ഇൻ ടു ദ നെയ്ബേഴ്സ് ഗാർഡൻ സോ ഇറ്റ് വെൻ ടു ദ ഇറ്റ് റാൻ ഓൺ ടു ദ നെയ്ബേഴ്സ് ഗാർഡൻ ഇസ് എവറിങ് ഓക്കെ മിസ്സസ് മോയോ മിസ്സസ് മോയോ ആ നോസി നെയ്ബർ ഫ്രോം എ ക്രോസ് ദ റോഡ് ഹാഡ് വാക്ക്ഡ് അപ്പ് ടു ദ ഗേറ്റ് ടു സീ വാട്ട് വാസ് ദ കമോഷൻ Uh, what the commotion was about so their neighbor is mrs moyo she is a very nosy neighbor nosy ennu parnal aavashyillatha kaaryathil edavidna aalkareyana nosy ennu parayunnathu so uh, she came up and she asked what is uh, you know is, is everything all right she asked kanni bahala oka kettittu vanna she found ma dad and me standing breathlessly by the garage floor uh, we were breathless kedachu undu nikkuvaru Tie, find your own documents dad growled and stormed off huh? so his father became very angry you, know, you find your own documents huh? because uh, you know uh, he got very scared because he, the rat ran up his uh, pants and uh, you know uh, he he got very scared and now he is now, now without a pants he held his vest down on either side to hide his undershorts അപ്പോൾ ഇട്ടിരുന്ന ആ ഒരു ബനിയൻ വെസ്റ്റ് അതിങ്ങനെ താഴോട്ട് വലിച്ചു പിടിച്ച് യുനോ ഇനോഡർ ടു ഹൈഡ് ഹിസ് അണ്ടർ വെയർ അണ്ടർ പാൻസ് എവറി തിങ് ഇസ് ജസ്റ്റ് ഫൈൻ മാസ് ഹെഡ് ഷെയ്ക്ക് ലീ ടു മിസ്സസ് മോയു ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ഷീ പിക് ഡബ് ഡാറ്റ്സ് ട്രൗസേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് സ്ലിപ്പേഴ്സ് ഫ്രം വെയർ ഹി ഹാഡ് ലെഫ്റ്റ് ദിം ആൻഡ് ഹറീഡ് ഇൻ ടു ദ ഹൗസ് മിസ്സസ് മോയു ടേൺ ദ വേ വിത്ത് എ സ്മൈൽ ഓൺ ഹർ ഫേസ് ആൻഡ് ഐ വാസ് ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഓൺ മൈ ഓൺ ഇറ്റ് വാസ് ദെൻ ഐ റിമെമ്പർഡ് മൈ ഹോം വർക്ക് I looked at my book and gasped. Why? Because it was muddy and torn. That's why I was going to die. Because I was going to die. I was going to die. Where is your book? Mr. North asked when I stood before the class the next day to read my assignment. After that, Mr. North asked about uh, the assignment. And he asked, where is your book? And... Uh, Uh, he replied i was writing my assignment in a book when a big rat apa kada parayan eating nu thodangi yan ezhuthi ezhudu aayirunnu stiram excuses parayunnu bo undavuna oru no cockin bull story kallam parayunnu nu adhem vicharichu kaanu karana adu muliyippikan adhe sammayichilla i was writing my assignment in a book when a big rat athra parnappodekku he said just read us what you have got mr north rolled his eyes and sighed heavily കള്ളം പറയാൻ ആയിരിക്കുമെന്ന് വിചാരിച്ചു എന്തായാലും എഴുതിയത് വായിക്കാൻ പറഞ്ഞു സോ ഐ റെഡ് ഔട്ട് മൈ എസ് എ ഐ ഹാഡ് റിട്ടൺ ഇറ്റ് ഓൺ എ പീസ് ഓഫ് പേപ്പർ വിത്ത് എ ടൈറ്റിൽ ഇ ഇസ് ഫോർ ഇ വേസ്റ്റ് ഐ ഹാഡ് റിട്ടൺ അബൌട്ട് റീസൈക്ലിംഗ് റിയൂസിങ് റെഡ്യൂസിങ് പൊല്യൂഷൻ പ്രിസർവിങ് ആ നാച്ചുറൽ റീസോഴ്സസ് ആൻഡ് ഇ വേസ്റ്റ് വെൻ ഐ ഫിനിഷ്ഡ് എവറി വൺ ക്ലാപ്റ്റ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡിങ് ടാഷ സോ എവറി വൺ വാസ് ഇംപ്രസ്ഡ് ഈവൻ മിസ്റ്റർ നോട്ട് സ്മൈൽഡ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻഡിക്കേഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഐ ഹെഡ് പ്രൂവൺ ഹിം റോങ് ബൈ റൈറ്റിംഗ് എ വെരി ഗുഡ് എസ് എ അബൌട്ട് വേസ്റ്റ് ടു സേവ് അവർ എൻവയൺമെൻറ്റ് ഹി വാസ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർലി ഇംപ്രസ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ ഹാഡ് റിട്ടൺ അബൌട്ട് ഇ വേസ്റ്റ് സംതിങ് ദാറ്റ് ഹാഡ് നോട്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഹി ഹാഡ് നോട്ട് ടോട്ട് എസ് അബൌട്ട് ഇൻ ദ ക്ലാസ് സോ ഇ വേസ്റ്റിനെ കുറിച്ച് പഠിപ്പിച്ചിട്ടില്ലായിരുന്നു സോ അതുകൊണ്ട് അതിനെക്കുറിച്ച് അസൈൻമെൻറ്റ് എഴുതിയപ്പോൾ ഹി വാസ് വെരി ഇംപ്രസ്ഡ് Zaku has put more effort into his essay by raising subjects you have not learned in the class Mr North said proudly ningalku ningale padipichittillatha karyangal vare Zaku has addressed in his essay so uh, it's very good he said and just when i thought i had proved that i wasn't a dimwit someone in the class asked what does e in e waste stand for so yan ingane aa oru ഇത് നല്ലൊരു അസൈൻമെൻറ്റ് എഴുതിയ ഒരു ഗ്ലാമറിൽ ഞാൻ ഇങ്ങനെ നിൽക്കുമ്പോൾ ഏതോ ഒരുത്തൻ അവിടെ നിന്ന് ചോദിച്ചു ഈ വേസ്റ്റിൻ്റെ ഈ എന്ത് എന്താണ് അത് എന്തിൻ്റെ ചുരുക്കമാണെന്ന് ചോദിച്ചു സോ ഇസാക്കു ഡിഡ് നോട്ട് നോ വാട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ക്ലാസ് വെൻറ്റ് ഡെഡ് ക്വയറ്റ് ഓക്കെ എവറി വൺ വാസ് വെൻറ്റ് ക്വയറ്റ് ആസ് എവറി വൺ വെയ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഫോർ മീ ടു ആൻസർ ഓക്കെ ബട്ട് ഹീ ഡിഡ് നോട്ട് നോ ദി ആൻസർ I gulped as I had no idea. Okay, I was there. I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like. Then a voice came from the back of the class. It was Tasha's voice. So Tasha responded to the question. She said, the E in e-waste is for electronic. So it is, e-waste is electronic waste. So that is the story. Thank you.